Welcome back. One thing we've got a lot of in this town is food glorious food. And we have chefs who are responsible for creating some of the great dishes that you may taste anywhere in the world on a particular moment. That being said, we pride ourselves here in Park City and we're fortunate to have folks in town cooking up some top, top gastronomic dishes that you may not find anywhere else. And coming up, a very special event. Ginger Reese is here from the Park City Area Restaurant Association to tell us about the five, yes, a handful <laughs> of chefs from right here in Park City who are going to be heading east next week to the James Beard House. And we're gonna find out a little bit more for those of you who may not be familiar with that name of its importance in the culinary world. Good morning, Ginger. Good How morning. are you? Good morning. I'm great. Thanks for having me. I'm imagining you being incredibly busy. And <laughs> ah, so thank you for coming in the midst of preparing thank, for. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking like you guys are are like like a like a rock tour. Like you guys are <laughs> right. You're going on tour <laughs> and you're playing at James Beard House. Yeah. Kind of this is Madison Square Garden yep. of, of yeah. cooking for sure. This Talk is, about this amazing event. So this has been a culmination of uh, that's been coming together for the last 18 months. And the Restaurant Association's board came up with this amazing idea to try and see if we could get um, a contingent from Park City invited to cook at the James Beard House. The James Beard House is, um, for the lack of a better term, cooking there is like the Super Bowl of cul in the culinary world. Absolutely. And you don't just go there, you have to be invited. Right. And so we were fortunate enough through the huge support of the Summit County Restaurant Grant Tax uh, Committee to be funded to send a group uh, to New York. And so we started the process um, last July 2017 and started put an RFP out to see which chefs within the community would be interested in throwing their hat into the ring for consideration. And then had a local committee sift through all the um, applications and select the five that were chosen. And since then, then we then once we had the chefs chosen, then we put together a big proposal for the James Beard House to consider, with all the amazing accolades that these five chefs have. And literally within two weeks, the James Beard House came back to us and said we would be honored to have wow. this team come. And so then the real planning has, you know, been going underway ever since. So it's it's been quite an undertaking, and it is like that's a great analogy going on, you know, a rock band going on tour because I kind of feel like that's what we are doing. Sure, because <laughs> instead of drum sets and amplifiers and instruments, mm -hmm. you've got these amazing five chefs, and there's our shot yeah. of the honored to be honored chefs. Yes. But you got a lot of, you You have a lot of logistics and planning, of course, you're, you're not gonna get your uh, foie gras uh, here in, in right. the, out west when you're gonna be Correct. in New York City. Correct, so the so. Um, figuring all that out. Yes, and so all, it, there's a lot of commitment that goes into this from the chef's perspective. And so it's not just like, oh, you got selected, this is amazing. They, we had to make sure they really understood the commitment, the time commitment, and the financial commitment that would be put onto them they have to ship all the house serves 80 people so they have to ship all that food in or figure out how to get it in New York right. and then also for their pairings they have to figure out if whatever they're pairing their dinner with or their course with wine or whatnot if you can't get it in New York then they have to figure out how to ship it in right and so it's uh, lots and lots of logistics and and simply the realities of liquor laws and yes. differences and yes. you can't just box up a bunch of vino and, and send it all it. around no. No. especially coming from Utah <laughs> there exactly. are exigent circumstances <laughs> exactly. of being here in Utah yes. yes so I suppose then and is this uh, logistically speaking as far as the event goes is this over a series of nights where each chef has a night or is this no, one big this is one night so each chef wow. it was so amazing to watch once we chose the five chefs um, which by the way are Jody Rogers from Deer Valley Resort, Seth Adams from the River Horse on Maine. Who's great. Who was amazing. They're all amazing. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, Matthew Harris from Tupelo, Zane Holmquist from Stein Action Lodge, and Briar Headley from Handel. Um, all very accomplished chefs. So, uh, it, you know, it's, it's just been a huge, uh, 
coming together team effort. They all came together and sat in a room and decided which course How each person cool. was going to serve. So it's a five course dinner. And can you imagine all these amazing talents trying to come together? And I was quite nervous on, okay, they're all going to want to do the entree. And it wasn't like that at all. They really? all, well, they're all good friends, which sure, is great. Sure. I mean, we're a very tight knit community and they all just came together and it within five minutes they were like okay and i thought this was going to be like we're going to have to draw out of a hat or right. how are we going to make this right. so fair yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> and it just came together so they each are assigned a course and then we were fortunate enough um, to also have High West Distillery, who has jumped on board great. and is going to assist us with the cocktail hour. So a great representation. So it is one night, five courses. So they have to learn um, how to maneuver in a very small kitchen together and you know, work together. So we did do a test run last week at Deer Valley Resort and we put them in a small kitchen and we invited 80 wow. local media up Fun. and, you know, had them do a dry run. And I kind of sat back in the back of the house and watched it all. And it was tr a true team effort. No matter wh whose course was up, all the chefs were helping plate whatever was getting ready to go out. And it was really fun to watch and it was very, I was proud to be a part of it. That's fantastic. Even though I can't cook anything. Oh, I don't <laughs> believe that. We're just talking about people who are, this is like the NBA all-star game yeah. in terms of, and I, I, I love, as we see these gorgeous pictures, yes. I, I love the image of these a very accomplished, and I think it, there has to be something about Park City and the fact that we have such great quality mm -hmm. of life here that it's like right like you say it's mm -hmm. a small community we're on the same team yeah. we're all we're all kicking butt in our exactly. career so right let's go to the super bowl mm -hmm. with an all-star team i'm mixing all of my metaphors together That's, i love it you got, <laughs> well it is we got season. rock stars we got the <laughs> nba <laughs> exactly but these these are very special chefs and as i mentioned i i, I know briar just a little bit mm -hmm. uh, matthew has been on the evening mountain view show mm -hmm. in the past and uh, as you mentioned uh, jody rogers Really, I think she really truly qualifies as an icon of, of <laughs> yes. cuisine here in Park yeah. City. She's Lovely person and yeah. great, They're all great, great and I'm really excited to be able to travel with them all next week. And, and we've set up some different, uh, while we're there next week, set up some different media um, opportunities for them as well to continue to get exposure for our community. And so uh, bro actually Matthew Harris will go on the Today Show and do a cooking segment on Tuesday next wow, week. Wow, exciting. Yeah, That's so really that'll cool. be amazing. And then uh, a few of them are cooking for Condé Nast Traveler. So it'll be, it's a great opportunity, again, to really showcase uh, all the culinary talents that Park City has. And we're just trying to, of course, everybody comes here for our amazing skiing and sure. our amazing mountain biking and all the activities that you can do here in Park City. But we also are starting, you know, becoming a culinary scene, a culinary destination, and we just want to keep reinforcing that. It so. occurs to me that that there's, uh, you know, we we talk a lot about tourism mm -hmm. and, and promoting our town, and I'm, I'm really thinking about how if you get to people, so to speak, mm -hmm. through food, yes. if that's their thing, if they're maybe not the most outdoorsy person, but everybody has family. Yeah. I'm thinking about this really complex equation mm -hmm. in which you know, there's there's so much about just getting here yeah. and being like, wow, we're 30 minutes from the <laughs> airport. We didn't have to drive up, you yeah. know, crazy, twisty, two-lane mountain roads and no. all these things that add up to also our ability to put on great food here yeah. in Park City Absolutely. because you don't have to... <laughs> you don't have to fly everything in by <laughs> exactly. helicopter and that sort of thing. Right, so. exactly. We're very lucky. So It's, it's true. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, have the best time. <laughs> I know it's a double-edged sword because you're yeah. going to be really busy. Yeah. You're in a logistically challenging place in Manhattan, yep. but what it's a special, great. special, special experience. Yes. And congratulations to, to you and to the Restaurant Association. Thank you. And of course, by extension, to all the chefs as well. And tell folks where to get more information on, on the association. So um, you can visit our website, which is parkcityrestaurants.com. And it's a great resource to learn more about this event the event is sold out it's sold out in a week 
which has never happened for the James Beard House. Oh, wow. Is, no kidding. Yeah, which is amazing. But also, uh, there you can find weekly, daily specials. It's a great uh, resource for getting out and dining in Park City for tourists and for locals. Great so stuff. So check it out. Thank you so much for being Thanks here. For it's a pleasure me. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. And uh, from the from the greeting between you and Charlie, <laughs> uh, even though you and I have just met, I know that you're a stalwart of Park City as Thank well, you. just by that greeting. You guys, ParkCityRestaurants.com is the place to go for more information and keep your eyes and ears out for the James Beard House event featuring Park City chefs coming up next week. We're going to take a break. More show after this. Please stay tuned.